and welcome to my little bookish corner of the internet. My name is Harriet. Today I'm going to be doing my spoiler free review of The Dispossessed by Ursula Le Guin. If you haven't heard of this before, this is a science fiction novel. It is the sixth book in the Hamish cycle. However, all of the books in that series you do not have to read in any order. So this is actually the first one that I've read out of the series and I didn't feel like I needed to read any books around it. However, I feel like it would have maybe given me a history behind some of the other races that are in this book. But as I say, you totally don't have to read them in order. This is the sixth one and I got on with it fine as the first. So essentially what this novel is about is we are following a scientist named Shebek and he lives on the moon of a planet called Uras and the moon is called Aneris. And the reason why there are people living on the moon is because they escaped the planet Uras and they have created basically their own communist society on the moon. And they have got a little bit of communication with the planet Uras, but Aneris kind of likes to keep to themselves because they don't agree with the way that the planet is run. So there is a small society that lives on the moon and we are following Shebek as he journeys to the planet Uras to try and further his scientific theory of time. Essentially, he is leaving his homeland, which is the moon, and going down to the planet to try and share his theory and trying to get a little bit more of a backing behind it because the people in his communist society don't really agree with what he's doing and they don't like the fact that he wants to bring the planet and the moon together and unify them through science. So he leaves the moon, he is seen as a traitor by the people that live on Aneris. So he goes down to Uras and we are following him as he is trying to fine tune his theory and also try and share it with the people. Now this book is kind of complicated I got about 20, 25 pages in and I had absolutely no idea what was going on. I was really lost. I was trying really hard to pay attention to all the little details and try to remember all the characters and the places, but I honestly found it really hard. And then after that, it just got gradually easier and easier to sink my teeth into. And by about a third of the way in, I could not put it down. I'm not a massive fan of science fiction. So this is really one of the very few science fiction books that I've read. I've also read Annihilation and I have read Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, but this is the first like heavy sci-fi novel that I've got through and I really enjoyed it. I feel like because it is science fiction but it doesn't focus too heavily on the science and the fact aspects, it focuses more on society and on our main character. I think that's why I got on with it so well, but we will talk about the main character. So Shebek is a very easy character to fall in love with. He's obviously going to this new society and everything is so strange and different, but he really takes it like a champ. And it's interesting to see a capitalist society through the eyes of a communist, because we don't really get that a lot in novels, at least I've never read anything like that before. And to see how a capitalist society is run through the eyes of someone like that kind of puts into perspective how greedy the people on this planet are and how materialistic they are how kind of skewed it must seem from someone that comes from a communist society. It's so different to what they're used to. And for Shebek to try and become and learn about the society, and for Shebek to try and become part of the society and learn about them, it was just a really interesting aspect of the book and, like I say, something I'd never read before. Now, I wouldn't say that this book is written with any kind of agenda or anything like that. I think what Le Guin was trying to do was just shine a light on how different societies can be and how people from those societies can view the other societies. I believe that's what she was trying to do with this. It didn't feel like it was trying to push communism or push capitalism. It felt quite non-biased, which was good. But yeah, Shebek, he's very strong. He's a good main character. I found him really interesting. And I really liked the relationships that he built with the people in the book. I think he's a really great friend and he's always trying to do his best in his mind to do his best. But he is also very flawed. So Le Guin is really fantastic at writing realistic characters and making them feel really genuine and they are flawed, which I think again, helps them to feel more realistic. So yeah, he really felt like a real person that existed and I got really emotionally attached to him. Now, even though he is coming up with this theory of time, Le Guin doesn't expect you to really understand any of the sciencey aspects. She just drop a couple things in here and there, but it is definitely more focused on the actual story arc and the characters and societies as opposed to the scientific aspects. And I think that's why I got on with it so well. 
it was more character driven than anything. I will say that if you don't like that kind of writing and you like something that's more action packed and there's loads of stuff going on, I really don't think you would like this book. Le Guin is very much a character focused and character driven author, at least with all the books that I've read by her before. And this one in particular, there's a tiny bit of action in here, but it is mainly following Shebek and following his line of thought and basically his life. We kind of flash back from when he was younger and then into the kind of present day. Yes, it's kind of a story of one person's life and how they are dealing with coming from a communist society into a capitalist society and then back again. But personally for me, that is the kind of writing style that I love. And I think that's why Le Guin is one of my favorite authors because I really feel attached to every single character in every single book that I've read by her before. They just all feel like they exist or existed. They feel really realistic. So yeah, overall, this was a five star read for me. It was wonderful. And as soon as I got past that first kind of roadblock and pushed through, I just absolutely loved it. The characters are great. The societies that are created in here are also really realistic and they feel genuine. So they were really great to read about too. And it's so fresh. It's so unlike anything I've ever read before. I didn't think that I would enjoy reading a book that's basically communism versus capitalism and anarchy, but I really did enjoy it. I thought it was amazing. So yeah, if you want to read something that's a little bit different, that's science fiction, but it's not too science heavy, you like character and world building, I feel like you'd really love this book. Let me know down below if you read this book or any of the other novels in the Hamish cycle. But that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!